As we delve deeper into the age of artificial intelligence and large language models, Google has taken a significant leap forward by introducing its latest tool, BARD. With this new release, Google aims to challenge existing chatbots, including the widely acclaimed ChatGPT. In this short video, I will test BARD's capabilities for data analysis and compare that with ChatGPT. Let's dive in and explore the exciting world of AI. Just a few days ago, ChatGPT released a groundbreaking plugin called Code Interpreter that has taken the tech world by storm. In my previous video, I showcased seven remarkable examples of how ChatGPT's Code Interpreter works wonders. By simply uploading data, the Code Interpreter is trained to apply Python's data analysis power to analyze the data and even create PDF reports and business models. So my first interest in BARD will be if it can do a similar analysis. Google has indicated that BARD knows 20-plus programming languages including Python. Let me first ask if it is possible that we can upload files for BARD. It says yes we can upload files. And the file can be text files, PDFs, images, and audio files. This can be a huge breakthrough. It also says, I will provide you with a report of my findings. So that's pretty impressive. But I don't see any option to upload the files. Let's ask the Bard. It says that we can upload files on different platforms. Then it says that, you can share the link to the file with me. And there is a large list of file sharing options. That's really great. Let me first show you the CSV files I want to upload to BARD for analysis. It is air traffic data in the form of four CSV files, aircrafts, airlines, airports and flight. Actually this is real US air traffic data from January 2013 to May 2013. The aircraft data has an ID and the names of the aircraft. Airlines data has ID, code and name of airline. Airports data has ID, code and name of airport. Finally the flights data has detail of different flights from different airports along with the airlines and other information. Of course there is link between the four CSV files but I want to test if BARD can do the analysis on its own. I have also saved the four CSV files in a Google Drive and I will pass the link to this folder as suggested by BARD. Let's change the access rights of the folder as editor for anyone with the link. I will copy the link and provide that to BARD. It tells me that it can do the analysis by reading the CSV files, cleaning the data, applying the statistical tests and visualization. And it will generate a report of the findings. It also tells what would be in the report. That sounds very cool. So what you are waiting for? Just go ahead and do the job. I am really excited to see the output. Here we get the output. Summary of data is here. File 1 contains data on the number of people who visited a website each day. Oh my god, that's totally wrong. Similarly the description of the other three files is also wrong. Each file contains following columns, date and value. That is also not the case. Then it has the other analysis done but that's not the correct information. Let me double check the data in the CSV file inside Google Drive. And it is ID and name of the aircrafts. I don't know what's happening. Let's ask BARD a very simple question to give just the names of the four CSV files. And see that even the files names are not correctly picked by BARD. This is very disappointing for me. Let me ask him to show some data rows from these files. And it is showing the data which is all fake. Let's tell him that everything is wrong. And oh my god, it says the data it provided was fabricated by him. Ah, the analysis thing is too far away. It could not even read the data. Why it could not even read the file names? It says the file names were also fabricated. Let me ask an even simpler question.
What? There are no CSV files? Oh god, this is so disappointing. Now it is saying the folder has one CSV file as test.csv. This is totally absurd. I cannot believe all this. Let me ask it again the file types it can process. CSV, JSON, XML, HTML. Then text files, markdown and even latex. This is such a big claim, and the reality is not even 0.1% close to it. I just want to give it another try and this time instead of Google Drive folder, I will give it the link to one file directly. I forgot to paste the link of the file and again it is saying that it is the data of website visits. This confirms it fabricated the results last time. Let's reset the chat and provide it the same file. Now it says that it is a research paper titled, The Effects of Social Media on Mental Health. This sounds very funny. I think this is enough for this test and BARD is no way near to ChatGPT code interpreter. But the comparison is not over. Before we could make a final conclusion about coding capability of BARD, the next test would be asking the BARD to write Python code by guiding him through prompts in a step-by-step -step manner. I have done many coding tasks with GPT-3 free model and the results are always impressive. So, next what I will do is that I will provide a series of prompts to GPT-3 model and BARD to write the Python code and will compare the results. I will do that in next video but as a side note although today's experiment with BARD was not good but I still believe that the biggest advantage Google has is that it has billions of users, who are using its many products on daily basis. Just imagine a tool that can integrate with this apps without any third part plugin etc, that really can be a game changer. So, we will see what Google AI will offer and we will test the code completion capability of BARD in next video. Goodbye and take care.